me to comment on the percentage of which are contested. A very quick assessment. Uh, those who know me, you know I'm always very proud. I just say it. I don't think there is adequate global cooperation. That's my starting point. Political will is lacking and commitment. This morning I have heard a lot about the work which has been done on the ground. We have adequate legal and institutional frameworks in place to allow us to implement an issue as crucial to the whole planet as this one. This is COP29 we are heading to. Every COP since the first one has repeatedly talked about the need for cooperation, for solidarity, for all of us, rich and poor, those in power and those outside power, to see this as a common agenda in which we must all participate. We have talked of inclusion, no one should be left behind, etc., etc., and paying attention to vulnerable groups. And even the strategies have been put in place, what needs really to be done. And, you know, conference after conference, you hear very beautiful speeches. And a plan of action is put in place. I don't know how, yo, how adequate monitoring has been, but the immediate result one sees is a lot of lack of political commitment. And in my view, really, the greatest responsibility is on those people who call us themselves, our leaders, the ones who are, whom we have delegated power to, to take uh, resources from the people to manage public affairs on our behalf. And whether it, we are talking about national governance, regional governance, or global governance, the story is the same. And so, the, the job I'm saying is starting. This is what we need to address. Do we have enough political will and commitment to actually enforce the commitments we make? If that is lacking, then I think a, a meeting like this should start by saying, what is it we are not doing that we need uh, to do? Before I, I hand over the mic to you, allow me to just say, even at the level of this framework, legal framework, which are very good, one of the one thing you note is that the enforcement mechanisms are weak. So we could start there and see maybe enforceability, even for ordinary people to be able to hold those who have to do the work to account. We may need stronger and enforceability mechanisms put in place among other things. And, and then we direct also attention, especially for those who are supposed to be doing diplomacy on our behalf, to broaden the participation.